Vroom, vroom. Oh, look, it's the Kokomelon bus. We're at school today. Let's see who's in class. We have a blue door, a green door, orange, and purple. The blue door has a number one on it. Let's flip this switch and see who comes out. It's JJ. JJ has the letter A. Who else is joining us in class? Here's number two. Let's press this circle button and see who comes out. It's Cody. Cody has the letter B. And here's door number three. And we have this orange switch that we flip up. Who is joining us in class today? It's Tom Tom. Tom Tom has the letter C. Now let's see who's behind door number four. It's the purple door with the twist dial. Let's twist it and see who our classmate is. It's Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo has the letter D. Now we have JJ, Cody, Tom Tom, Yo-Yo, and you joining the class. Hooray! Let's try our friends again this time, but faster. JJ, Cody, Tom Tom, Yo-Yo. And what are we learning about in class today? Let's take a guess. We have one, two, three, four doors. Here's a purple door with a tree on it. Let's flip this log switch up. It's a caterpillar. What else are we learning about? Here's a green door with some leaves and a leaf switch that we move up. It's a ladybug. And now we have the third door that's orange and it has one, two, three mushrooms on there. Here's a fun mushroom button we get to press. It's a snail. And this last door, we have one, two, three, four flowers. And a flower button. Let's see how we can open this. We twist it. It's a bee. Now, who are we going to learn about today? Let's close the ones that we're not learning about. Look who's left. We have the caterpillar and the ladybug. Did you know a caterpillar starts off as little eggs? Here they are on a leaf. These holes in the leaf means that the caterpillar is eating it as food. Now those tiny eggs turn into this caterpillar. What colors do you see on the caterpillar? Right, yellow, black, and white. A caterpillar has lots of legs. Here's its head and you can see its eyes. And over here is its tail. Then the caterpillar turns into a chrysalis. And something truly magical happens in the chrysalis because boop, 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 the caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. Here it is, look at its beautiful wings. This butterfly is orange, it's ready to fly off. Bye bye butterfly. Wow, you just learned about the life cycle of a butterfly. Here's the eggs, then the caterpillar, then the chrysalis, and then the butterfly. Great job, butterfly. Can you guess what we're learning about next? These are little eggs. But what are they the eggs to? They're ladybug eggs. The eggs of the ladybug turn into larva. Here is a ladybug larva. It looks very different from the ladybug we know. It's all black with a little bit of orange right here. Then the larva turns into a pupa. This is a pupa. It's all orange and it has black dots. And finally, the pupa turns into a ladybug. This ladybug is red and it has black spots and some white spots. Let's go over what we learned. Here's the ladybug eggs, then it turns into larva, and then a pupa, and finally, a ladybug. Next, let's learn about something new. These are little eggs. There's a whole bunch of them. 
can you guess what they're eggs to? They're frog eggs, but they're not frogs just yet. The eggs turn into tadpoles. This is a tadpole. It has a tail and a head with two eyes. Tadpole. The tadpole then grows legs. Whoa! It's starting to look more like a frog. Look at its face and it has two legs and its tail. Then finally, the tadpole with legs turns into a frog. A frog croaks like this. Rabbit, rabbit. Let's go over it again. Here we start with eggs. Then the eggs turn into tadpoles. And then the tadpoles grow legs. And finally, they turn into a frog. And that's the life cycle of a frog. Whoa, what's this? We have a whole bunch of rings here. And this looks like a circle. It has a little face on it. Let's try putting it together. First, let's go with the biggest string. This is purple. Let's get it right in. Now, let's find the next biggest ring. Right, it's the blue ring. Let's get it right in. Do you see the next biggest ring? Great job, it's the green one. Here we go with the green ring. And now we have two rings left. Which one is bigger? Is it the orange ring or the yellow ring? Right, the yellow ring is bigger. Let's put the yellow ring right in. And finally, we have the orange ring. It's the smallest ring yet, and it goes right up top. Hmm, but we seem to be missing something. What are we missing? Right, we're missing the head. It's in the shape of a circle and it's red. Let's add it to our tower. And what do we have? It's a very hungry caterpillar. Let's learn by finding all the ladybugs. Whoa, look, there's so many ladybugs there. Where's the ladybug with the one dot? Right, it's over here. We have a purple ladybug with one dot. Let's take the ladybug home. And look, on the back it says number one. Here we go, back to the little ladybug home. Here's one purple ladybug. Now what comes after one? It's two. We need to find an orange ladybug. The orange ladybug should have two spots. Do you see an orange ladybug with two spots? Right, there he is. Here's the orange ladybug with two spots. Let's make sure. There's the number two. Let's carefully take the orange little ladybug back home. Here it goes. Let's put it right in. Now what's after two? It's number three. Great job. We're looking for a blue ladybug this time. Where's the blue ladybug with the three spots? Right, it's over here. Here's the blue ladybug with one, two, three spots. And the number three is on the back. Let's take it right back to the right spot. Here we go. Now we're looking for the ladybug with number four. It's a green ladybug and it should have four spots. Where's the green ladybug with the four spots? Who is that hiding beneath the tree? It's a green ladybug, and it has one, two, three, four spots. And look, it has the number four on the back. Here we go. Green ladybug can go right here. Great job. Okay, what's next? We're looking for the number five. This will be a pink ladybug, and it will have five spots. Do you see the ladybug with the five spots? Oh look, who's hiding in the tree? It's a pink ladybug. And look, it has one, two, three, four, five spots. Let's make sure. There it is, it's number five on the back. Now we can take the number five ladybug and put it right here. Next is the ladybug with the number six. And this one's light blue. Right, there it is. It's the light blue ladybug. 
And how many spots does it have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six spots. And when we flip it around, here's number six. Let's take the light blue ladybug back home. Where was it? Right here, right. Now what are we looking for next? It's the number seven. Let's look for a light pink ladybug with seven spots. Ladybug, ladybug, where are you? There you are. It's the light pink ladybug. Let's count its spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's take the little ladybug back home. And here's number seven. Here we go, all the way back to the right spot. Now here is number eight. We need to find a yellow ladybug with eight spots. And where is it? Right, it's over here. It's the yellow ladybug with eight spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight. Where does the number eight ladybug go? Right here. Great job. Now let's look for the ladybug with the number nine. This will be a light purple ladybug. Do you see the light purple ladybug anywhere? There it is. Here's the light purple ladybug. And let's count its spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here's the number nine. Let's take the little ladybug right back home to the number nine spot. Nine. Only one little ladybug left, and it's the number 10. Where is that little ladybug? There it is, good job. The number 10 ladybug is red, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spots. Let's check the back. There you go, number 10. Let's put number 10 right back in its pot. Great job, you did it. We brought all of our little ladybugs back home. Today we have so many colorful cups and colorful bowls. Let's use a spoon to pick out the colors. First, we have a green ball. Where should we put the green ball? Right, in the green cup. It's the green cup. And inside we have something. Let's see what it is. Oh wow, it's a green frog. Frogs go. Let's pick the next color. How about this one right here? It's a light blue ball. Where does the light blue ball go? Right, it goes in the light blue cup. Here's the light blue cup. What's in here? It's Queen Elsa. Queen Elsa is light blue. And she even has a blue snowflake on her head. Next ball, it's the pink ball. Where should I put the pink ball? Right, in the pink cup. What's inside the pink cup? It's a pink pony. It also has a pink mane and a pink tail. Nice. Let's try another ball. Which one will we get? It's the blue ball. Where should I put the blue ball? Right, in the blue cup. What's inside the blue cup? Let's find out. Oh wow, nice. It's a freeze pop. This one is called an otter pop. It has yummy frozen juice on the inside. Next ball is the white ball. Where should I put the white ball? Right. It goes in the white cup. What did the white cup have? It's Olaf. Olaf is a snowman and he's white. 
Next ball is the orange ball. Where should I put the orange ball? Excellent job! It goes inside the orange cup. What's inside the orange cup? Why, it's a tiny tiger! And this one's named Raja. Now let's find the next ball. Wow, this time we got the red ball. The red ball goes inside the red cup, right? Inside the red cup, it's a red car. Look, it has a cute little face on it. The red car even has wheels, so it can drive. Next ball is the gray ball. Where should I put the gray ball? Right here? Uh-oh. Maybe we should try right here. Right, in the gray cup. The gray cup has a gray elephant. Elephants have trunks for noses, and they use their trunks to drink water. Let's choose the next ball. The next ball is yellow. Where should I put the yellow ball? Right, in the yellow cup. And what do we have here? It's a yellow bus. The yellow bus is full of little children. They're ready to go to school. Bye-bye, little ones. Have fun in school. Next ball is the purple ball. Where should I put the purple ball? Right, in the purple cup. The purple cup has some purple grapes. Next ball is the black ball. Where should I put the black ball? Right, it goes in the black cup. The black cup has a black action figure. He's dressed in all black. And now let's choose the last ball. It's brown. Where does the brown ball go? Awesome, in the brown cup. What do we have inside the brown cup? Nice, it's Sheriff Woody. He has a brown hat, brown hair, and brown shoes. Let's see, how many balls did we have? One, two, three balls, four balls, five, six, seven, eight balls, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve balls. How about we make a mess? Whoa, look at that. See you next time. Bye, everyone.